properties worth millions of naira were destroyed in the raging fire at the popular Balogun market in Lagos. At least five buildings, including one marked as Anambra Plaza, were caught in the fire while some traders in the affected buildings threw down their goods through the windows. The buildings are located on sunny Adewali Martin Street in Lagos Island area of the state. That's a fortunate uh, story. Now, Abuja residents have expressed mixed reactions over the death by hanging judgment passed on husband killer Miriam Sander. While some said Mrs. Sander deserves the sentence handed down by Justice Yusuf Halilu of the Abuja High Court, others think consideration should have been given to her two-year-old child who was born during the three-year trial. We caught up earlier with Barista Emeka Mwanko to unpack the legal ramifications of Mariam Sanders' sentence. Take a listen. Commenced in November 2017, following the killing of her 37 year old husband, Biliamin Bello, a case which sparked national outrage. Mariam Bello, popularly known as Mariam Sander, had been a frequent visitor to the High Court in Abuja as some others were also joined to the suit, who the police had 10 fellow collaborators following forensic investigation which alleged evidence tampering. We felt others who attempted or who took part in uh, tampering with uh, evidence were also joined uh, as an accessories after the fact. Right. Well, I must say that I've not uh, read the judgment of the court. And as we lawyers, we lawyers don't just uh, comment on cases ordinarily without being apprised of the full facts of the case as uh, enunciated in the judgment of the court. However, I must say that a uh, passion killing has been, has been with us from time immemorial. The only difference is that because of the impact of social media, it's, it's much more reported. It's much more reported these days. There were instances in the past where wife battering, uh, husband battering wife, and wife battering husband. But in the in times past, it used to be uh, the women used to be on the receiving end. And uh, there are so many cases. There are so many cases are bound with respect to to husbands battering their wives to death. But of recent, the, issue, the, the reverse is the case of recent, because we've been hearing cases of, uh, of uh, wives uh, killing their husbands. Uh, the instance, there was a particular case uh, in a burden about a lady that killed the, uh, the husband. There was equally one in Lagos that uh, made the headline, headlines about, uh, I, think the lady, I think the lady was a banker. Uh, there are so many cases that have been concluded and there are so many convicts on the hangman's waiting for the hangman's news but uh, it has to be the state governor has to sign the debt the warrant for the for the execution and i don't uh, in recent past i have not seen i think the governors are are not too enthusiastic about uh, uh, signing uh, debt warrants but be that as it may, that is our law today, that if you've been convicted for murder, the sentence is death by hanging. The judge has no choice in the matter. I'm not a fan of capital punishment, but I have to admit that it's, uh, it's part of our, our jurisprudence. That is the law as it is today. Uh, and in a murder trial, it's an eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. Once it has been established by the court, that the murder was premeditated and a convict, uh, conviction uh, entered, the sentencing is capital punishment, and that is death. What government needs to do, uh, we are underestimating the, uh, 
the level of uh, mental health in our system. People suffer a lot of, from depression a lot these days. It wasn't like that in the past. We've had so many instances of people jumping into, into the lagoon, committing suicide. The suicide rate in the country is high. So the government needs to devote a lot of time and attention to addressing mental issues. I also call on our, on our faith-based institutions to equally take up the challenge. The NGOs, they should talk more on, uh, on mental health and depression. The rate of drug use now is, uh, is very, very high. It wasn't like that in the past. So these, all, these, all these issues are, are contributing factors to these uh, mindless killings and murders that we're experiencing in the country today. Well, the matter has captured a lot of media frenzy because of the personalities involved. Uh, we've had cases of uh, high-profile uh, murders involving people in the top echelon of, uh, of the society. I was made to understand that uh, the, the lady's husband was the son of a, a former PDP acting chairman. And the lady is from a, a reasonably well-to-do home. And uh, because of the advent of social media, it's, uh, it's what it's, it, it is what it is. People will, will have to talk about, about the murder and all the theat theatrics uh, with respect to sentencing or what not. So it's, uh, it's expected. Well, I must say that this uh, conviction is still at the court of first instance. The accused still has the right of appeal she can appeal to the to the appeal court up to the supreme up to the supreme court uh, i must say that i've not read the judgment but uh, in murder cases there are so many defenses open to an accused person the most potent in my mind of all the defenses is that of uh, is that of self -defense. And that's Barista Emeka there giving more perspective on the matter. And that's as much as we have been able to pack into your waking hours of our Plus News segments. You are watching Plus TV Africa. Big story, live here. And I am Amaka Ukui.